All right, let's continue. If you're watching later on YouTube, thanks for clicking. Hope you're enjoying. This is a second part of what I've been playing today. Okay. Uh, yeah, this is kind of annoying, but let's just get through this. Uh, defense buffs? Where you at? This is my last defense buff, so I'm gonna have to make a new one. Let it go, it's fine. As long as I'm still alive. <laughs> I don't want to fight these things. It's so pointless. I'm gonna spend 20 minutes fighting, or I'm just gonna just do this. I like this option better. There we go. All done. Asshole. <laughs> I was going to use Rivali's ability to climb this. So I wouldn't have to walk up the canyon games like, No, it's that, you want to save time. Get fucked. Get... Ugh. Fine. Didn't want to save time anyway. Taking a spear. Okay, it stopped raining now. I might be able to get up this way. So that was a blood moon, right? I feel like my game just ever since that happened, it just hasn't been normal since. Oh, knock it off! <laughs> For fuck's sake. Just let me climb up. <laughs> it's so annoying. <laughs> oh, in a week's time, please just. Don't let this be a thing. Be I'll get- I'll have my answer this time next week. Whether or not... They really, really, really made another game without thinking, hmm, we need to change the rain. Like, that is just... It's like, okay, so I stopped climbing up, now watch. 
I go back to clamp. This game is such an asshole. <laughs> Look at this. It's just like, no, you're not climbing. You're not saving time. Walk. You're gonna walk the entire. You're gonna walk. Ugh. It's not letting me do it. Let me climb, man. <laughs> I don't want to go around. Scared to use Ravali because it might start raining again. What was that sound? I know, but it's just too high up right now. Trying to recover the stamina. Oh shit. Slash user volleys. Don't you dare. God, this game is such an asshole. And the worst part is it doesn't let you turn around. It's still probably quicker than walking to the other side and trying to climb. You can do it, Link. You can do it. Just do it. Do it. I hate this game. I don't know if I, I don't know if I'm gonna I'm gonna find it acceptable if they keep rain the way it is here in this game in the next one. I just I can't see how they could ignore it. Ah, 
Ah, oh, fuck it. I'm just gonna walk up. I'm just gonna walk. Watch it stop raining the moment I touch the ground. Yep. Yep. Good system. That's a it's a masterclass in in world design and uh, just immersion. Not annoying the player at all. This is why Breath of the Wild just, whilst it's a very good game, I do like it. It just will not get anywhere near what I consider like the best Zelda games. For reasons such as what you just saw. Things that defeat the purpose of the op open world format. I think my blood moon's broken again. There was one there was one not even two minutes ago. So that's fun. Blood moon rises once again. <laughs> Please be careful. I just don't dare climb up now. At this point, it's just... If I do... It's just gonna waste everyone's time. Unless over there, that probably might be a good spot to try. Because at least it's sort of staged. Can't use it yet. Should have multiple charges of it. I swear they've done this on purpose. There's got to be some code in this game that just fucks with the player. Am I just that unlucky? Am I just that cursed? It's ra it's rained every single time I've tried to climb this thing, and then it stops immediately when I stop climbing it.
be fine. Should be another safe spot. Oh, I think I made it up finally. Where is he, though? Still not all the way up, but I'll take it over over nothing. Pretty far away from Epona. Okay, well. It's a bit late for that. Can I go back to what I was doing now? detour. what I was doing. Okay. On our way. Rivali's Gale is now ready. So which way am I going? I'm going through... Okay, it's safer to go south. Just because otherwise I'm going through Central Hyrule and that's probably not a good idea. Ah, uh, although I do have to stop. No, no, I should go through Central Hyrule because i got to stop into that, um... That's stable, where the dude's asking for the fancy food. Okay.
Oh, wait. That was the right way. My bad. I got three spots that I gotta stop and uh, do things before getting to the mountain. Uh, might have to fight this thing. Maybe, we'll see. I do, okay. Attack the horse. sucks about this area. I'll piss off, right? These dudes are gonna turn up now. There we go. Let's go, pine up. I got a photo of it at least. Stop. Is there a search option? There's no search. Okay, it's fine. Just in case there was a treasure or something in there. Uh, yeah, just head in a straight line. Two spots. First is Kakariko Village. What, you really discovered a royal cookbook? Could I bother you to prepare the dish for me? Give him the fruitcake. This, this is the fruitcake said to have been eaten by the princess of Hyrule. 
Simply delicious. How could I possibly describe the experience? A refreshing aroma, reminiscent of galloping across these majestic plains on horseback. No, that undersells the dish, dish's complexity. It fills me with that heart-thumping intensity that seizes your very soul when you are spotted by a guardian. A truly elegant dish. I never thought I would taste something quite so thrilling. I must really thank you for giving me such a beautiful meal. Take this for your trouble. Okay, there we go, done. Good, I got more money, so get more weapons later. <laughs> I just think I'm gonna go past Hesto again and still not give him the Koroks. give him his maracas? Nope. Probably won't until way later. Yeah. Still in challenge mode technically, so. I mean, it's gonna result in him dancing for like 20 minutes straight because doing it all back to back. Still on this hill, just waiting, all lonely like. Okay, 
Okay. Ah. It seems you are doing well in following the princess's words. The spirits of the divine base have been appeased, and the powers of evil have weakened. The princess must sense this as well. Still, the divine base Varuta remains. Okay, Radanya, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh. By the way, how are you faring thus far? Oh. No, all twelve pictures already. You visited every place. Oh. Hmm. Then I suppose it's time. I'll reveal the location of the final memory. Here is what happened. Lady Zelda gave me specific instructions. She asked me to wait to show you this. Yeah. This is the final picture. Look familiar from this village. You should be able to get there in half a day's time. Now go, child. Seek what Lady Zelda has shown to you. Hateno. Do we have anything to do in her room? No? Okay. I don't know. What, <laughs> what the fuck? Ah, <laughs> oh, fuck this game. Okay, sure. <laughs> that was some weird footsteps. <laughs> oh, man. Somewhere down there. We'll figure it out. There's a tree that you can see. <laughs> There's a tree you can see. I'm trying to think which tree it's pointing to, but. It's even facing this way. It might even be this. Just. Just a suit. It's a tree on a hill. might be here, but maybe not. Yeah, see, there's the tree. It should be somewhere around here.
There's no way I'd be near that camp. Be nearby. Huh. Admittedly, I probably should have taken a photo of it. But I was kind of confident I would find it. I just wish it appeared from a distance that was uh, further away.
So he can... He can still be saved? Princess! Huh? Princess, are you all right? Take Link to the Shrine of Resurrection. If you don't get him there immediately, we are going to lose him forever. Is that clear? So make haste and go. His life is now in your hands. Yeah, I just think, imagine going there. She says it's time to fight Ganon. It's not. <laughs> Terrible advice. Yes, yeah, so let's go fight Ganon while there's still two divine beasts to take down. Oh no, I was like focusing on looking for the stupid memory. Because <laughs> the memories are something that's just... <laughs> You gotta pay attention, otherwise I'll miss it. And I did miss it! But, you know, I tried not to let it happen, but it did happen. It's okay. Yeah, see? Mm. Okay. Uh, yeah. You were a comfort and encouraging presence to her. As she struggled each day to fulfill her destiny. That is why she believes in you. Okay, Ganon. Yeah, but I don't want to fight Ganon right now. Oh, there was no point in coming back here. I just thought maybe she had one more thing, but nope. Okay. Moving on. All oh, right, not allowed to walk through a town quickly. <laughs> the 
if I have if I haven't said anything in like a minute. That's within the reason of sometimes I'm just quiet and trying to pay attention to what I'm doing. But if it's any more than that, just be like, did, did you mute your mic and forget to unmute it? Because sometimes I feel like I'll sneeze or something and I'll mute it and then forget to unmute it. Especially if I had a long day. It'll let me know, good. Yeah, truth be told, I don't know how long I wasn't talking for, but I, I imagine it was at least a couple minutes. Because I was looking for that thing for a while. Come on. What? What is this? Come on. They... The, they put all this stuff on the bridge that it, it adds charm and it's attention to detail, but on the other hand, it just prevents you from using the horse. Because the horse sees that as something it can't, uh, I don't know, go over. Yeah. I'm just going to put away the champion's weapons and then head to a color. Because I don't want to break them. Or lose them, in the case of uh, Mifa's one. There's no point in me taking the horse in because it's just going to walk. I use my last ones. stuff again.
You know, the, the memories. Don't want to destroy memories of friends. I could just hang the Hylian shield here, but I feel like I should carry that. It's mine. Okay, that'll do. I just wanted to drop these off. trip to a color. I did finish my tea during that section as well. <laughs> so, that was also that. Oh, for fuck's sake. Seeing as that was a cutscene, I was like, oh yes, I can take advantage of it. I can drink my tea and shut up. I got to enjoy it hot, exactly. That's the downside of tea is just... If I forget about it, it's just... I won't enjoy it as much. This one was uh, peppermint, so it's good. Bought a desk cup warmer. A warmer? So what? It has some active thing that does it, or is it a passive warming thing? Yeah. I need to get a thermos for winter. I feel like I, I need to get one. Huh. And, but it's not that it gets that cold here, it's just... I guess for streaming, just put it on the desk. Make some tea and leave it in that. Plug it in. Alright, so it's an active one. Come on, opponent. I mean, that makes sense. Constantly having to have 
coffee, that's not an ideal temperature just because of other stuff that pops up. I think for me a, a thermos would make sense, because it's it'll just sit there. Because I don't want it to warm it, I just want it to keep it warm for longer than just having it out there on the desk. I bought more cheese as well. Because I was... It was on sale. I saw some. And... It's like, eh, I'll get some. I got provolone this time. Because I haven't had that before. As surprising as that might sound. And then... I got some more brie. Because I did enjoy that. But this time it's like a truffle one. You love provolone. They haven't had it before, so... It's there. I'm supposed to be hanging out with a friend later, so... I'll probably have it then. AIDS provolone is amazing. Yeah, I don't think this is, this is fancy. <laughs> It's just supermarket provolone. I'm sure it's good, but not top tier good. Fun plants. Ah, uh, not just catching up, hanging out, chilling. I'll have fun, but not like it's not nothing. I'm not going anywhere. Let's put it that way. <laughs> Long ass week. Do you like provolone with pepperoni and salami on a sandwich? That, that was usually my go to. I mean, just cheese and salami and then toast that. Just two ingredients. Sorry, I'm just seeing. Which way? Mayo. Do I put mayo on the sandwich? I mean, I only tend to have mayo if it's going to have salad or something on it. Without it, I don't know. Okay, that's, that's cool. I mean, I guess if you get a spicy salami, it'll kind of uh, cut that a bit and balance it. Not everyone likes mayo. Well, here it's it's a bit more common to like mayo than it is um, in America. Like my cousins, when they came from LA, they found it weird that we um, dip fries in like a, a mayo or an aioli. Like, what? Why don't you use ketchup? It's like we use ketchup. It's just you know, a lot of people just prefer like a, a garlic aioli or like a a spicy one. And they're like, "Ew! Why would you?" Dip fries and mayo, it's like, because it's good. Ketchup is not fit for human consumption. I mean, it's reconstituted tomato paste and then sugar and water, right? Isn't it?
That's all right. <laughs> wow. That's cool. I love I love it when the horse refuses to move. Thanks, game. Try a mayor ketchup and relish. Yeah, I'm sure a lot of I would have had something similar to that at some point. Because a lot of um, cafes you go to that just give you like a dipping sauce, it's usually like a combination of mayo and something else. I wouldn't be surprised if they did something along those lines. I'm stopping in this forest because there's uh, big radishes here. so funny that I can do this. I think I've, I've bugged my game. But look at- alright, look at this. Blood moon. No 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 blood moon allowed. No blood moon allowed. No blood moon allowed. No blood moon allowed. Ever since that day I went to Hyrule Castle, this is just the state of my game now. At least it's not happening back to back. I've heard people say that using ketchup with butter and then... What else I don't remember? But the point is, like, using ketchup is like a base for a pasta sauce. But then you put butter and uh, some, I think, some cream in it or something. I forgot the recipe, but... <laughs> I cannot wait until I get the motorcycle. I mean, I'm saying the word ketchup as well for, like, better understanding, because here we just call it tomato sauce. Say tomato again. Oh, come on. It's not a fancy like tomato. Do you want me to say tomato instead? Fresh tomatoes and basil. Beautiful pasta sauce. Aromatic. Fragrant. Delicious. Yeah. 
Yeah, I mean, that's just regional differences for you. English is the last though. <laughs> it's just Oh man, as a language it, it just sucks to learn when you've learned another language that's more consistent. Okay, he just materialized out of nowhere. That's cool. I gotta stop into uh, to get the next quest for Tarrytown. As a native English speaker who is also fluent in French, English is insane. No consistency, no hard fast rules. Yep. It's because it's a mesh of just multiple different root languages. I mean, every language has its issues, but just English is just, it's a, it's a pain. From words that sound the same, but are spelt differently, or words that are spelt the same, but sound differently, and then how plurals are just inconsistent. It's like, goose is geese, but then moose is not meese. Yeah. Like, it, it just sucks for anyone that has to learn it after whatever their primary language is. Then there's, uh, abbreviations, like, the worst one I've heard in a long time, and it came up recently, was the official way to shorten microphone is M-I-K-E. That's the way that it's recommended, even though most people type M-I-C, because that makes sense. The official way to do it is M-I-K-E, because their reasoning, it, their reasoning is they don't want people to say Mick when you spell it M-I-C. So then it's, then it's like, okay, let's, let's go with the reason, let's go with that reasoning. Take the word gymnasium. We shorten it to gym, which is J-Y, uh, sorry, G-Y-M. You could pronounce that as gym, but we don't. So you don't see us phonetically typing it as J-I-M just to prevent that problem. It's just, it's the worst language in the world. It really is. <laughs> the only reason I know that, that the microphone versus mic thing was I was playing Kirby and Kirby got a microphone power and it said M-I-K-E. I'm like, why the, why the heck is it labeling Kirby as mic? Oh, wait. Is that how it, no, th th that's not, that's wrong. And I, at first I thought it was something that was specific to America. I was like, is this an Americanization that they shortened to M-I-K-E? But then I looked it up, and it's just, no. The dictionary wants you to spell it that way. Everyone else says M-I-C. Mm -hmm. Box, boxes, fox, foxes, ox, oxen. <laughs> yeah. There's, there's so many examples. There's so many examples. Bass and bass spell exactly the same, mean a different thing.
produce to make and produce produce vegetables. Yep. And sometimes contextually, like a sentence can mean this can mean two different things, even though it's the same sentence. What about, okay. Penetrable, impenetrable. One means that, you know, you can get into it. The other one, you can't. Flammable, inflammable. Both mean that they can catch on fire. <laughs> it's, so, it's so stupid. That's across other languages too. Yeah, but still, it's a dumb one. It's the same in French, right? Is it true that in French they don't have a distinction between monkey and ape? Like it's the same word. So I remember this comedian saying that in French, ape is Sange, and then monkey is also Sange. So when you're watching Planet of the Apes, and they're talking about you know, the fact that they hate being called monkeys, it's confusing. Because they say, you know, we're not monkeys, we're apes. So how would you translate to, to French if they're both the same word? You managed to find Rita and bring him back here, thank you. He wasted no time in getting a general saw up and running. Apparently his family runs one too. And with a name like Fison, he'll fit right in. He's selling things that he's picked up while flying around. You should really go check out the store. Next is... Before we can call more people, here we need more homes. 50 bundles of woods. Okay. Do I have it? I think I'm close to 50, but I don't quite have it. 37. Uh, yeah, uh. I have to go cut some trees down. It's the same. It is the same word. There you go. So that comedian was right. I was saying, how would you translate that line from Planet of the Apes? <laughs> take long, hopefully. I'm not talking to that roaming traveler. Should be able to get the rest of the wood here. Hopefully. Just 
while, while I'm here. Is that a carrot? It might be a carrot. Yeah, get the carrot. Is that 48? Okay, I'll get a, a few spares as well just so I have campfires because this game is, uh, yeah. <laughs> we'll find out in a week if really they're going to keep the system of just rain constantly in the game. Yeah, this time next week I'll know. So I'll either be very happy talking about praising how they have changed their mind about rain, or I'm going to be cursing them for thinking that rain is perfectly acceptable. You have to be pretty out of touch to think that it's fine, because you talk... I think it's almost unanimous that rain in this game is, is just annoying. Please, why'd you run to the edge? Uh oh, did a pony fall off the edge? Oh my god, a pony! <laughs> That's all right, a pony is still alive. <laughs> How did that even happen? It's okay, a pony is safe. I'll piss off. This is why I hate getting the Yiga area done, because it's just one more thing that's going to harass me constantly. Hope you get the game for Mother's Day. Just keep dropping the hint, you'll get it. Did you bring 50 bundles of wood? Yep. There you go. Ugh. A little's personal. Got engaged. No way. It's true. To Ronson. You're a cute couple. Thank you. Anyway, we want to have a little ceremony, but we need someone to officiate. Priest-like. Yeah. Okay. Azora. I need- yeah. The, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. This music sounds like it belongs in an 80s sitcom. Oh, because of the, uh... I guess the horn in the background. Oh, you have the, the, the other outfit here. That's cool. Like the, the brap sound. So, Epona's currently stuck, so I can't use Epona. That's, that's great. All right, I guess I'm walking to a color. A color lab, that is. Hello? 
long has it been? <laughs> it's been a while. Yeah, okay, it's been an hour and a half and I still haven't got into the mountain, but it's gonna flow pretty quickly. We just have to finish the quest and then we'll fight the beast. It should be okay. Just it takes a while when you don't fast travel. And the rain prevents you from climbing. Oh shit. Not good. I gotta save. Just in case I die. have a stopwatch just showing how long I go between the next time something harasses me. It's definitely less than a minute at this point. It's just constant. Yep. That was, that was not even a minute from when the wolf be peaceful for at least another 30 seconds. Bats, wolves. I'm going around a long way just so that guardian doesn't target me. Yep, here we go. I feel like there's something really wrong because I get blood moons way too often now. Ever since that castle thing. <laughs> this one might be a legit one because it doesn't seem so abrupt. Okay. Why not? Okay, uh, we are getting... Got 
don't think I've ever gotten a blade saw, but we're getting a shield. The occurrence of blood moons depends on both time and distance travel. I, it, I think it does, yeah, but... The problem I have was that, um... I, at one point I glitched the game and made the blood moon that was supposed to happen disappear, and then 20 minutes later I couldn't take a step without a new blood moon happening. And ever since that, um... Well, I had like 30 blood moons back to back. It's, uh... It's been a bit weird. Yeah. I broke the game. I've done it more than once. Honestly, it, it's it's my passive. Practically every game I play, it happens. That's all I came here for. Alright, now I have to head to, uh... What's the quickest way there? Hmm... I suppose... If I go up this way, it might be quicker. I'm not sure. <laughs> Either riding on horse or... Because the climbing takes a while. I can get rid of that now. I'll just use horse. I'm... I think a more passive way down there is, is fine. <laughs> You're calling Nintendo the lawyers have been notified. Why? Because I glitched the game? How about they make games that are stable? To be fair, their games are, are decent, it's just they do have performance issues on the Switch. In another life, I would have been a very successful game tester. Nintendo be a client focused company, bite my tongue. Yeah, well. At least I'm playing vanilla, so it's, it's fine. I can't believe a pony survived going off the cliff. <laughs> Ooh, I... that, was, that was lucky. Yep. I'm doing my best to make sure that the horse does not get injured.
I'm going up the other way because I'm gonna collect uh, fireproofing ingredients. Because I'll, I, I will need it. Stop here for a sec. Because I haven't been checking these. It's just a rusty shield. This one didn't have anything hidden. Go, go, go. Uh, see, see what I mean? See what I mean? <laughs> Already another blood moon. It stopped though. We did we had a blood moon like five not even five minutes ago. But it, it cancelled it. You'll just see the particles just constantly appearing. I can't wait to see what I do to Tears of the Kingdom. And it's not like I'm trying to do anything to it, it just happens. I broke it again, I know. I kind of want to play the games from the, the GTA trilogy, because I have a physical copy of that game. And they were really, really broken when they released. So I want to unplug my PS5 from the, the internet, so then it doesn't update the game and just play whatever was on the disc. So then, of course, it's guaranteed to be fun times. That's one of the advantages of, uh, the physical is, like, if every now and then you get something that is broken in a funny way, not broken where it's unplayable, but just broken in a funny way, you're able to experience that. Because that was broken in a funny way. You could still play the game perfectly fine. It's just the character models did weird shit. <laughs> There's no other way to put it. Oh look, the blood moon. Look, 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 get back on the horse. No blood moon. Gone. <laughs> yeah, welcome, welcome to my stream. This, this is a common occurrence. I feel like 80% of the games I play, some shit like this happens. Get off the horse. Blood moon. Get back on the horse? No blood moon. It's daytime. It is, it is quite clearly daytime right now. Get off the horse. Blood moon.
I have to play the, the whole game on horse? Yeah, if I don't want a blood moon. The, the best part is when I jump, it delays the blood moon. That's the weird part, is like... When Link's feet are not touching the ground, that's when... That's when it stops it. Okay, opponent's getting hurt. I know, we need to get out of here. The floor is the blood moon, exactly. Sun's out. Look, sun is out. Now it's a moon. <laughs> I think I need to. I think I need to let the moon happen now. Otherwise, this is going to be a problem. <laughs> the blood moon rises once again. Please be careful. I mean, I find it funny. It's it's not something that's going to destroy the game, but. Something is quite clearly wrong. <laughs> so I will be with you in a minute. Keep, uh, keep track of how long it's been since the previous Blood Moon. Oh yeah, see this is the downside of going up this way. Oh no, that's fun. <laughs> you know what I find weird about these keys in particular? When their bodies are on the ground, because they've died, and they drop an eyeball, the eyeball, um, it disintegrates. So it's like, okay, so the eyeball's not made out of something fireproof, but when they're alive, it's perfectly fine. I love it when Link decides to randomly climb a surface when I'm trying to escape. Almost time to apply the buff. I 
Oh yeah, right. Okay, uh... That's the one. Come back here, I want... I want all these parts. I'm getting the kill, I'm getting all those parts. I saw a smothering butterfly here, but it's not here anymore. Was there a specific stable that I sold that made at? Yes. The one near the Great Plateau uh, and Coliseum. Outskirt stable. You sell three at a time and then, yeah, just sleep at the campfire or uh, sleep at the inn and then you'll be able to do it again. collect more of these. I need to buy myself more time. Okay, it's just beneath me. I wish the butterfly were easy to capture. Sometimes they just float up too high and you can't get them. That's cool, that's just wildlife just saying, nope, you're not allowed to catch what you want. Another reason why this area is great, no Yiga. Okay. I'm gonna be looking around here for a while. Please don't scare the lizards. I need lizards.
Ah, oh, there was one there. It's nice that they respawn really quickly here. This is another spot you can make decent money. Just by getting these lizards. I wonder if they just keep... No, okay. Be cool if you just kept lifting them and they would respawn. So I have at least an hour's worth of, uh, flame guard. I think if I set up the campfire, it resets it, so hold on. time is that? I mean, it's, it's about an hour, but I would want one more. Okay, hold on. We don't need these low meatball. Oh shit, I accidentally... Yeah, that's, that's stupid. I forgot about the buff. It's okay. Just making room. Let's see if this works. Oh, it doesn't reset it. 
I mean, this should be enough to get me through the next section, so let's just see. If I have to wear the helmet, I'll have to wear the helmet. Knock me into lava before. I think out of all the Zelda games, this is the best looking Goron area. It's more than just a hole in a cave or a hole in the ground or just... Looks like things actually live here. Let's start the quest. I've <laughs> gone a very dumb way. Fine here. There we go. Ah, you again. Do you know you know her? Why is the stranger? You like you asking about Unova, boss wants to know. Ah, boss does. Well, then I guess I better tell you where Unova is. Oh. Unova went to that vault to fetch some painkillers, but now that you mention it, I suppose he never came back. This place is dangerous, so you probably shouldn't go looking for him. So, do you need anything else? Nope, we're good. Going to go look for him. Yeah, I think here I... <laughs> His face is great. I have to wear the thing. This just doesn't work, unfortunately. It's okay, it's not, it's not really going to make a difference between a one-shot and not a one-shot. Um, what's the weakest armor I can wear that'll give me it? Where is it? 
three, three. They're, they're all three, so... I guess let's just wear that, because that makes the most sense, a helmet. And then the rest of your body is completely naked and exposed, it's fine. That's... Flame Guard. Video game logic. <laughs> Pretty much. Nudity makes you stronger. talk to him. Oh, we just do this. Okay, it does work. Just making sure. <laughs> of course it's not like a... A specific spot. Killed them to just get this whole thing voice acted. I don't know. Hmm? Hmm? Now that I've gotten a good look, whoa, it's a Hylian. Were you the one who broke through the crag to rescue me, Goro? Thanks, brother. But what brought you all the way out here to begin with? Looking for you, Nobo. Oh, so that's it. Boss told you to come find me. Phew, thank goodness. In any case, I sure am glad you saved me, Goro. Name's Yunobo. Everyone calls me Yunobo. Makes sense, Goro. I came to get some painkillers for the boss, but a magma bomb caused a rock slide sealing the entrance, Goro. By the way, how did you break those rocks at the entrance? With a cannon. Huh? huh? You used the boss's cannon? That thing is so difficult to use, I thought only the boss could handle it. Oops, I nearly forgot. This isn't the time to chat. I need to deliver these painkillers as soon as possible. Sorry, gotta run, but do come by and see the boss later, okay? He may be gruff, but he's always he always repays the favor. I'm sure there's a reward in it for you. Okay then, bye now. Good, I'm just gonna go back. Oh, this might have been a mistake! <laughs> Damn it. 
Damn it. I should have used ravioli. Okay, tech to ravioli, if you please. Thank you. I keep forgetting I have ravioli's power. Now! <laughs> Classic Death Mountain. Ah, it's the tiny traveler. You never told me all about how you helped him, brother. Here's a reward for you. Hylians, like you need this sort of thing, right? Looks like your pack is full. Well, if you're lighting your load, come see me. Okay, then. Wait, what's this? Are you really telling me you don't know about Daruk, the Goron champion? If they had up there, that's Daruk. What was he going to give me? Food? Or may have, maybe he was going to give me the armor as well, but ugh, it's fine. other champions know. They better eat their gravel if they want to keep up with the roof. Speaking of which, can you believe this view? Just look at all those delectable rocks sprinkled on those mountains. Mighty tasty. I may not know a whole lot about this calamity Ganon thing, but mark my words, I'll protect this land of ours to the death. Right, little guy? <laughs> <laughs> hey, by the way, congrats on becoming the princess's appointed knight. That's a really big deal, protecting the king's daughter. <laughs> no pressure. Seriously, though, the princess is a strong personality. So strong, she can't quite see the range for the peaks. Remember that, and you'll be fine. Huh? What the? <laughs> this is probably one of the most useful abilities. <laughs> it's just... Oh man, for parrying this is gonna be good. It's a failsafe. So what was I saying? That was a little strange. As far as I know, Death Mountain has been quiet for decades. But if the mountain is shivering enough to send out a bunch of boulders that size, then never mind. Forget I said anything. Foreshadowing. <laughs> What's gotten into you? Highly and sure are strange. Anyway, Yunobo is actually a descendant of the Great Daruk. That's why that slacker can even use Daruk's protection. He uses it to protect himself when we fire him at Rudania. That's the only way we can chase that blasted beast away. We have no choice because normal cannonballs are no good against him. Alright, enough about... Enough out of me. Time to drive off Rudania. Ugh. Ow, ow. Yeah, uh, I'm just peachy, dumb traveler. Of course I'm not okay. Ow, ah. Uh, I'm afraid I won't be going anywhere today. I hate to put you out on the spot, but 
Can you please go tell your neighbor that I'm gonna have to cancel for today? He should be at Elden Bridge. I'll do it for you. I always get, I always get lost in this town. It's directly above me, isn't it? Yep, this is the bridge I need to cross. Hopefully the flame god I have will last. Go ravioli, go! Wait. Yes. <laughs> I was already heading the right way. I don't really remember the sequence to get into the base that well. <laughs> okay, nonsense. Did you get that? Nonsense. I bid a to what a treasure at the build the bridge of Elden. It's an amazing shtick. Okay. You have to go through the mountain and avoid those flying things. Okay, I have ancient arrows, so that's good. Okay. That was close. Yeah, I'm not doing stealth on this, I'm using ancient arrows. It's okay, I should be fine here. Attacked by a moblin. Two moblins, actually. Someone help me, please! I don't want to waste weapons on these assholes. I really don't. Hold on. I can do this. This works. Ugh. Ugh. It's because there's two of them. Stop moving. the best way to beat them. <sighs> wow! You're crazy strong, Gara. You saved me again. Mm. 
Thanks for saving me, brother. I would have been in real trouble if you hadn't shown up when you did, Goro. Uh, still no sign of the boss, eh? He's not coming. Huh? Not coming? But why, Goro? After we went through all that trouble to get them painkillers, didn't even get end up working. Well, if boss can't help, there's nothing else we can do. I suppose I'll just head back now. Wait a minute. Mm. But you're not going back. But why, Goro? I want to board Rodania. What? You're going to try and board, board the Divine Beast? Who do you think you are, Lord Daruk? It's dangerous in there, Goro. Mm. Though I guess if you weakened it first, it might be possible. But why risk it? Oh. Hmm, well, I don't really get it, but I'm sure you have your reasons, Goro. Oh. The problem is, good old boss raised the Bridge of Elden to make sure that mean divine beast couldn't get over here. In order to get to where Rodani is, we'll have to find a way to get the Bridge of Elden back down, Goro. Normally boss would lower it using the cannon, but uh, can't get across as long as we figure it out. If boss can't come down here, then we can't use the cannon to lower the bridge. That means we're out of luck, Goro. Oh. It occurs to me that you know how to use the cannons, don't you, Goro? Maybe we can get across after all. Hmm. Let's just do what I do to help the boss sometimes. That means I'm going to be the cannonball. You just launched me, Goro. You sure? I've got the Rick's protection, Goro. My ancestors' help can't possibly fail me. That means I can smash into anything and it won't hurt me one bit. My ancestor, the Rick, was a big deal, Goro. That's what boss says, so it's just got to be true. And I can use Daruk's protection, just like Daruk could. That means there's no need to worry. Got the So rest easy, got it? Well, go on then. Take aim at the Bridge of Elden and fire away. Just, no, be gentle about it. We did it. See that, Gora? We put our heads together. Anything is possible. The power I got from my ancestor, Daruk's protection, it really is something else, isn't it? Anyhow, I guess my time as a cannibal isn't over just yet, so let's get a move on and cross that bridge, brother. Here we go. Okay, the different flying thingies. Oh, yikes! A sentry is a nuisance, no matter where it is or how many of them there are. If one finds you, Redania goes nuts, which will cause Death Mountain to erupt, Goro. I always get spotted, then magma bombs comes raining down one after another. If boss were here, he'd swat those magma bombs away like they were nothing and force his way up. I don't think you'd be able to do that. I don't want to cause you any trouble. Hmm. Maybe the best idea for you is to give me the signal to let me know when I should stop and when I can move forward. A whistle. Huh? Whistle, that's a great idea. When I hear you whistle, I'll stop in my tracks and move forwards. I like it. I mean, it's kind of, it's kind of like calling a horse. <laughs> okay, then. I'm counting on you and your whistles to make sure I'm not spotted by those awful sentries. Yeah, now we're on fire! <gasps> now 
now the real question here is... Let's see. Yeah, it works. Yeah, we're not going through any painful process here. As long as there's no blood moon. Is he, is he gonna push? Nope. Okay. You have the strength of an ox, if not stronger. I have to do all the work. Okay. I see. Why are you exhausted? Okay. <laughs> so much more straightforward <laughs> when you do this. No fucking around. Ah, oh, crap. I guess let's just... Leave this in here for the time being. Dude, can you get out of the way? I'm trying to aim. deal with us.
No complications. Crap, we gotta do this again. <laughs> really? Oh, what? Oh. Okay, that's fine. Um, I guess he's my weakest bow, which is technically this. but it is what it is. Wait, where are we going now? It doesn't seem right. This doesn't go any further. Get in the cannon. I mean, everything's clear, so that's fine. Careful, now. I'm going back. Did I miss the first cannon and just miss the first shot? That's probably what happened. Which is fine, I guess. <laughs> it's, it's no big deal. The pathway is completely clear now. It's just a formality. Is he following me? Let me guess, I had to hit it with the first cannon. And I walked past the first cannon. So now we're taking a casual stroll. That's the first cannon. <laughs> uh, that's funny. Uh, you know what's not funny? This this asshole not following me. How far back is he? There you are. 
did I make tacos today? No. I'll probably do it tomorrow. Just too long of a day today. It just wasn't in the mood to be all elaborate. I just did a simple chicken and rice. Having a white people taco night. <laughs> well, enjoy. Well, I'm gonna eat cheeses, so that's fancy enough. Yippity yup, what is this? We did good, Gara. If we can keep this up, we should be able to corner Redania. Imagine if they respawn now. And the margarita. <laughs> of course. They go hand in hand. Hey. Well, this is gonna eat one of my flame guards. Alright, worst comes to worst, I'll just wear the pants. Wait up. I'll just make I'll just make it so I don't wear any buffs. And I'm inside the beast. I still got the high level one, so that's fine. All right. Too bad we <laughs> have ancient arrows. Imagine Blood Moon right now. I don't think it can happen, but it'd be funny.
cool scene. That was so cool! You really put a licking on that thing, Link. It's time to finish the job. This is our big chance. Just dives in. All right, here we are. Divine base number three. Hey, little guy. Long time no see. I always knew you'd come back. You know, I never stopped believing in you. You're here to take control of old Radania back from Ganon, eh? You're gonna need a map that shows the This one's not gonna be as intricate, thankfully. You can grab the info from the Guidance Stone over there. Now get a move on. Yeah. Oh yeah, right, I forgot about the gimmick of this one. That's not good. I'm gonna have to use these as like my torch. It's not ideal, but I just don't want to drop a weapon. What? Why didn't that work? Oh shit, no, I have to. Um. Oh boy, this is gonna suck. I just have to keep bringing it from room to room. Has to specifically be this. the semi. It's just this... This whole business here of having to use a torch. Drop the torch always in front of the... Okay, that's good. I 
Oh, this kind of acts like a light as well. That's cool. Okay, we got it. Just for five points? Okay. Same thing. Nice job getting the map of the Divine Beast. The terminals that control Rudania are noted by the glowing points on your map. To take back Rudania, you'll need to activate all of the terminals. You got this, little guy. Ugh, lights. Natural light. This is one here. Um, how does this work? There we go. Crap. Just use ravioli. Ravioli, go. the next one. It's almost always confusing. Oh yeah, there it is. Okay, hang on. I'm hoping to get this dungeon done in the next 15 minutes. I'm trying my hardest. Oh, sh shit. Uh-oh. What? What is this? Doesn't let me go. I, I've got Revali's, but like, it's, why should that be necessary to get back? Alright, whatever. Oh, I don't have it. Oh shit, I don't have it. It's on cooldown. Um. Okay. I'm just gonna have to trust that this is gonna work. Yeah, yeah. I just was afraid that if I turned that I would fall off, that's all. Like, I know. Right, 
to where am I right now? I'm at the edge of it. So according to this, it's on the other edge of the spine. Okay, it's being covered by that. Where's this? Oh, it's up there. Got it. Asshole! Okay, let's just move. Get it and get away from it. Okay, that's two. There are three. Uh, next one's tail side. And, okay, both legs and tail side. So I think I'm done above. What is this? Hang on. Okay, this is definitely something. Oh, that was easy. There are two terminals remaining. Just a little more. Chest? Yeah, chest. But see, that's, that's such a bad rule. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I kind of remember this. Hang on, hang on. Yeah, Link's head will be full of voices. Maybe I should do the tail one first. That one's more straightforward. <laughs> Hang on. What? No, that should have worked. Stop. That should have worked. I don't know why that didn't work. Got it. Stopped it. All right, so it's just the leg one. That's the end spot, so hang on. I think I need to follow the railing. I sort of vaguely remember this. Rivali's Gale is now ready.
Okay. <laughs> Hold on. I'm running out of fireproof elixirs. Uh, okay. And then... Oh, no. Where am I going to get this from? This needs to be lit. Okay. Oh boy. <laughs> it's okay. Ah, <laughs> uh, don't remember what this is. Oh, hey. Thanks for the uh, prime sub, Johannes. Yeah. What the f Oh yeah, this thing's still here. Go away. Go away. I need a I need a transfer spot. I need a transfer spot. Where can I get a blue flame over here? Where are these- where are they coming from? I can bring this with me. Without dropping a weapon, I really don't want to drop a weapon, but I'm, I may have to. Where's the torch? I put the torch down next to this. Where is it? <laughs> Did it despawn? Uh-oh. I need, I need the torch. I don't know how else I'm going to get that up there. Where's my torch? <laughs> Where's my torch? I put it down. Where is it? Oh, you know what? Because I've been moving the base, it probably rolled off somewhere. No, no, I don't think it's despawned. I think it's just gone. Because I've been moving this thing, so it's... Uh, okay, what am I gonna do? The only thing- the only other thing I can do is carry it with this. Oh, this is... This is not good. No, come on, there has to be another way to do this without that torch. I refuse to believe that this is a soft lock. Yeah, but it goes out. Fucked up. That is quite the major oversight. <laughs> I don't know how, to, how else to light this thing. 
Am I overcomplicating it? Like, maybe it's just standard fire. Let's see. Nope. Uh no. What am I gonna do? I think I'm screwed. I wonder if I load. Well, I I can use an arrow, but the problem is it's just so far away. How would I- how would I bring an arrow this far without- because I have to step- oh, no. Not good. Where are these coming from? I need to stop them. There's too many of them now. Where are they coming from? I don't see a corruption spot. Wow, this is so bad. <laughs> Unless I'm just not seeing one detail, but... Okay, just out of curiosity, what... 53, four minutes ago. So it looks like an auto-save from when I got the terminal. I'm screwed anyway, so let's just see if the autosave fix it. Okay, where am I? Okay, so yep, it's down to one terminal. Now, is there a torch? How the fuck am I gonna do this? <laughs> there has there has to be a way. There has to be a way to do this without a torch. Because this goes out after a few seconds. You can't hold it on forever. It's already out. Are there any other places I can transfer this light to. Wow, this sucks. <laughs> I need to light a blue torch. I need to light one of these outside. I need to take this blue fire outside. And there was a torch in here, but it's gone. So without a torch, how am I supposed to transfer the fire outside? I don't have a- the wooden weapon would burn outside instantly. It doesn't- either way. Even if I had one, it wouldn't work. The moment I step out here, anything wooden lights on fire and it'll- it'll die. So the only way I'm getting this outside is if there's some midpoint where I can shoot the fire to. Otherwise, I've, I've kind of just soft locked myself. I might have to look this up. <laughs> Un unless. Let me look. Because I don't have much fire as this left. Oh crap. That was an accident. It's okay, I'm fine. Where's the torch? Yeah, so the torch is here. The torch is here. But I don't see another torch anywhere else where I can transfer this. 
You see what I mean? Like, how am I, go how am I gonna get this up? There has to be another way. There has to be another way. Something I'm not seeing. Where's the flame? The flame is under me. But even if I had the torch, how would I get it up here? The only way to do it is when it's in this form. Because then you can walk it up. So you're supposed to walk up the torch from here. And then you should just be able to light it, right? Let me look. Yeah, and then you just drop. I'm gonna hate the answer to this. It's either that I've overcomplicated it or it's legitimately I've soft locked myself. This is the closest one I have. I can't see it from here. Oh, this sucks, man. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna have to look this up. Redania... Lost Torch. Okay. I'm trying to I'm trying to find an answer to this. Okay. <laughs> Hold on. I think I have an answer. Supposedly Yeah. To get to the outside one, I don't... Oh, wow, this is so annoying. This is... I can't believe this. Yeah, Google search says I'm fucked. And you know why? It's because I didn't want to lose a weapon. I was like, nah, I'm not going to lose a weapon. I'm putting the torch down. I'll come back for it later if I need it. Cool, so, uh... <laughs> Hold on. Oh, that's oh oh that's that sucks. I have a save, but it's like outside the base and it's still within that section. Oh, I don't want to backtrack like half an hour. All right, I think I if I can't find the solution to this now, I might just have to leave it for now, and just come back to it tomorrow. I can't believe that. That's. Usually they have a safety precaution to prevent that. But it... Nope. Nope. It doesn't even respawn either. That's the worst part. <laughs> oh my god. <sighs> this only happens to me.
I can exit the base, get the torch, and come back. On. But the thing is, I I don't want to I don't want to fast travel. Like the rule is, I'm not allowed to fast travel. I've done zero fast traveling so far, and to come back, you need to fast travel, don't you? Do you fast travel to come back? Is is that is that a thing? Yes or no? Yep, then I'm not doing it. It's it's breaking the golden rule that I'm not allowed to fast travel in this. Wow. Okay. Yeah, I guess there's no point then, huh? If I can't... If there's no way to transfer the flame without that torch. I was hoping that there might be another torch I could shoot up here, but it doesn't look like it. It's just... This is straight up something they didn't consider. Hmm, what if the player loses the one thing that you give to them? Okay. <laughs> it's a good thing that I have this save. If I didn't, I'd be really annoyed. I don't have a flammable weapon. And even if I even if I did, it would get it would light on fl fire outside. Where am I right now? It's, go it's gonna take too long to do this. I'm gonna save it here. Cause, uh, I gotta go chat. This is just gonna be like another 40 minutes and, ugh, that's just annoying. I know it's a disappointment, but I gotta chat. I wanted to finish this, but it's just, okay. Apparently, not, uh, not doable. That means I'm gonna have to put down, what a waste of money. Like, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to leave one of these behind. I spent a thousand on these weapons to make sure I had enough to fight this thing, and now I'm gonna have to drop one just to make sure that that torch... Okay, what I'm gonna have to- um, what I'm gonna try, like, next time is, I'm going to take the torch and I'm gonna get that thing first. And then hopefully my spear doesn't damage. Anyway. Get rid of the flame sword. I'm not getting rid of the flame sword. The flame sword- The ice sword and the flame sword are being used so I can traverse areas naked. The flame sword lets me get through cold areas, the cold sword lets me get through hot areas. I'm not ditching either of those two. So, anyway, uh, we'll pick this up tomorrow. I've been playing for like six hours. I gotta go. Um, sorry that this was a bit anticlimactic, but hey, at least I did the, uh, the other beast. So that went well. <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, I'll put this up on YouTube later and, uh, you can check it out then. But, uh, I'll be back tomorrow and we'll do this and the other beast because the other one's going to be straightforward. I've already... I'm right up to the part where, uh, we just fight, so. Hope to see you then, but otherwise, uh, enjoy the rest of your day, everyone. Thanks for tuning in.